Hello, this is Leo at Lee Time. In today's video, I want to show you the distillation with a fresh organo and how to dry organo at home. I grow my organo from uh, late uh, March and put in the box. It, it grow pretty good and uh, recently they start uh, blooming. Uh, actually, even yesterday when I want to check it, there was like this. And this morning already flower come up. When organo start to bloom, the leaf, the flavor will getting milder. So it's good time to cut it today. When I cut it, I cut leaf about three, four inch at the bottom. One way to dry it is just, just lay on the table, but you need this uh, perforated so the ventilation, the air can go through, so help it to dry up. Uh, you don't want to sit on the solid uh, surface because it may got a mold or bacteria grow. Leave under the sun for days, then you can just uh, collect the leaf. With organo, you're looking for losing 50% of the mass after drying because of water content. The other way is we make a bundle. So we use a, a, a cotton wire. The fresh hydrosol has a little bit milky, it's not as milky as the uh, last time I used the uh, dry organo to make. Um, but it still smells very strong of the uh, organo. I gotta put in the spray bottle and uh, test it. Yeah, it smell, smells pretty good. They smell organo and a green leaf smell all together. Organo is a very good antibacteria, antiviral, and also antioxidants. So it's pretty good uh, skin spray. For organo, the organo leaf contain most of the essential compounds compared with its uh, flower and the stem. As I said in the beginning of the video, when you start to harvest it, try to do it before the bloom. Because once it starts to bloom, the energy will go to the flower. So harvest before the flower and use a leaf for the distillation and also do the cooking. It's a good and a healthy herb. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Turn the bell to get the notification of the new video coming up. 
See you next time.